Tonight, we begin a month-long series focusing on issues facing 18 to 35-year-olds. We call them Generation How, as in how do they make ends meet with the high cost of living in B.C. More and more young people are simply giving up on their dream to own a home in this province and are instead searching out greener pastures. For the first time since 2003, B.C. lost more people to other provinces than it gained. And while that may not seem like a problem, a mass exodus could spell trouble for all of us. Tanya Beja explains. Molly's making a mess. Mike and Elaine Garland want their son Nicholas to grow up with the same opportunities they did. A house, a backyard, maybe a dog. But when they look at the cost of real estate, the Garlands know their options are limited. Knowing that our dollar didn't go very far in the city, Kind of was disappointing for me because I grew up in the city and I, I was a Burnaby girl. So the Burnaby girl and her husband are heading east, getting ready to move to Newfoundland where a home costs <laughs> less than half of what they'd pay here. We're all good. But out here you feel like you're struggling every week trying to, trying to pay the bills and pay your mortgage and the commute and uh, you never think you're getting ahead. Like, do we have to have actually... Holly and Rod yeah. Williams know what it's oh, like to money. struggle. Here's 20 bucks left. 20, Thousands of dollars in debt. Um, car insurance. Life insurance. Groceries. Did you put any money in here? They want to start a family no, and own a home, something they say they can only do by moving to Ottawa. Coupons, I've got to go through the coupons. We don't want to be house poor. So, and I do believe that if we stayed, that we'd end up being house poor. Gadgy. The Williams aren't alone. For the first time in almost a decade, more people have left BC this year than the number moving here from other provinces. Let's talk about this summary of schools. Ferris El Khalil has seen that firsthand. As head of a high tech recruiting firm, El Khalil has a hard time luring candidates to the lower mainland. Two and a half year, 85 bucks. In the past, we've been known to call across the nation just to get that good talent, specialized talent, into Vancouver. And it has been easier to sell a lifestyle and temperature change, um, but, uh, but that's gone. This is the best place on earth. BC prides itself on its livability and lifestyle, but are we selling a bill of goods? No matter what you're looking for, we got you covered. Unless what you're looking for is affordable housing, ours is the most expensive in the country, costing more than 11 times the median income. But our earnings are at the bottom of the list. Vancouverites make less than those living in places like Regina and Saskatoon. You gotta be here. You gotta be here. You gotta be here. You and if young people continue to leave, it could spell trouble for our economy. We have a, an aging population, and if we drive away our young, talented people who are in the position to uh, generate the jobs and wealth we need to make the city prosper, we're going to really suffer and stagnate. You wonder how much a house like this would go for. For the Williams, the high cost of real estate is a constant reality, one they hope to soon escape. Looking forward to the next step in life, which is going to be children, which is going to be more expensive. It's, the option's clear, like, the, it, it's very clear what has to be done. Take a to Katie. The Garlands have no doubts that a new life in Newfoundland will allow them more time with their son <laughs> and more money for his education and activities like hockey. I think it's a better choice to raise a family. Um, you know, you're not putting like, all your money into the house itself. Knowing that it's a more of a different feel and an easier pace lifestyle, I think that's what's going to be best for us. Mike has a job waiting for him in St. John's. Now all he and Elaine have to do is finish packing and find a home that's more affordable.